A very good evening, Zimbabwe. You are listening to Studio 7 from the Voice of America in Washington on Thursday, June 23rd, 2022. This is the Women's Forum. I am Kip Stobe. And I'm Jonga Kandemiri. We are standing in for hosts of the Women's Forum, Marvelous Mshanga Nyawie and Standikile Mshanga. Tonight on Live Talk, we are talking about striking health professionals in Zimbabwe. The strike by health professionals, including some nurses and junior doctors, ended day four today with the indications that the government is making frantic efforts to resolve the industrial action over salaries and allowances. Nurses say they want salaries to be paid in United States dollars following the devaluation of the Zimbabwe dollar. Zimbabwe's teachers' unions have joined the country's health sector or workers in a strike to demand they be paid in United States dollars instead of local currency, which was sharply, which was, has sharply declined in value. Most of Zimbabwe's government workers make the equivalent of about $55 a month, a tenth of what they once earned in the country. Columbus Mavunga has this report from Harare. Since Monday, doctors and nurses in Zimbabwe public hospitals have been on strike. They are demanding the government review their salaries, which in some cases amount to less than $25 a month. We are not asking for something that's out of this way. We just want to live a better life. Some of us are married. We've got, some of us have got kids, different responsibilities. So which we, we with the current salary, we cannot afford. Patients are being turned away from government-owned hospitals. So are students at public schools as teachers also want a review of their salaries. Zimbabwe's finance minister says discussions are underway but held down expectations. So as government, of course, we are sensitive to the plight of all the civil servants and we do whatever we can to make sure that we can accommodate uh, some of the demands, so obviously within the, the confines of the past of government within the budget constraints that we face. Zimbabwe's government has struggled with financial issues for years and had to abandon its own dollar in 2009 because of hyperinflation. The new currency, also called the dollar, was introduced in 2019. Alexander Rusero, a politics professor at Africa University in Zimbabwe, blames the government of President Emerson Munanga Guam, who took power from the late Robert Mugabe in 2017. It's a reflection of a government uh, that is confronted with a delicate balance of uh, incompetence and a low opinion of the people. You know, that's where Munangagwa's government differs from Mugabe's government. Mugabe had some sensitivities, especially when it comes to issues of uh, civil servants' salaries. You don't just keep quiet when things are like this. Many Zimbabweans have taken to social media criticizing Munangagwa, who they say is not taking care of the country's citizens and workers. Columbus Mavunga for VOA News, Harare, Zimbabwe. So there's a lot, uh, Jonga, that is happening in Zimbabwe. We see that uh, here, Columbus Mavunga was reporting on the situation right at home, what's going on. You know, we see that um, so many of these civil, uh, civil servants are on strike. They need to be paid, according to them, in Zim, in, in United States dollars. But uh, go ahead, uh, Jonga. Yes, sir. But uh, Dr. Paulina Skosana, who is the chairperson of the Health Service Board, only a few uh, said uh, only a few nurses and other health, health professionals are on strike. Gibbs. Yes. So in summary, there is no summary, general, uh, general uh, strike or industrial uh, action. It's just in, uh, three hotspots in uh, National Land West, uh, Chinoy Provincial Hospital, where some uh, health workers uh, have been on and off. And then uh, in uh, Midlands, uh, though it's uh, subsiding, uh, Parinata uh, Hospital is where they are picketing. They will picket uh, around eight or nine and go back to work. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, all other provinces, uh, central hospitals like in Pilo, UBH, in Bucheni, and um, Chikungunya, um, they are at work. I think Harare, initially, they were picketing, so, and they go to work. They go back to work. 
And, and basically, Dr. Skosana, it seems as if there is an underlying problem here concerning salaries. So, can you address that? Can you talk about it? Well, I think the, the salaries is basically um, affects everybody else. And um, we, are, we have been engaging them, and um, we have submitted uh, to our princi- uh, principal's uh, proposals after engaging the workers. Do you think this uh, problem is going to be addressed very soon? It should be. I'm confident. But indications of that, uh, Dr. Skosana, uh, the government doesn't have foreign currency to pay civil servants, if civil servants, especially nurses and doctors, and we're told doctors the, have joined as well, yeah. The meeting we had with uh, the health workers, they didn't insist on uh, U.S. dollar salaries. And actually... What they were pursuing was uh, what we call health-specific allowances uh, because the salaries are a whole of government issue. They said their concern is uh, the addressing of uh, health-specific allowances. So that's what we are focusing on. Yes, it seems as if now the doctors, junior doctors, have actually joined this strike. So what's your take on that? They have not joined. We are seeing them addressing meetings there in Mbuyaneanda Hospital and other places. So we assume that they have joined the strike. Yeah, because the, the, the strategy that they are having is that they pick it uh, in the morning and go back to work. I'm not sure whether you, uh, you think uh, people they are picketing, they are on strike. They pick it and then they go pick back. and then they go back. So that is Dr. Paulina Sukosana of the uh, Health Service Board. He's saying most of these uh, uh, nurses and doctors are not on strike, Jonga. So according to him, you know, there are a few what spots. That's what he said. Few what spots in Zimbabwe. So I guess uh, Jonga were joined by uh, our first uh, guest. You can introduce our first guest. Yes, uh, that's uh, Ms. Chenai Mutambasere. A political analyst and a economist. Welcome to our show, Ms. Mutamba Sere. Hello. Hi, guys. Thank you for having me. Good afternoon to your uh, viewers and listeners. Uh, welcome. I'm going to talk about the people who are 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 going to talk about the people Tiruku kurukura nezwe matambudziko ari munyika tichitarisa kuramwa mabasa kurikuita vana chiremba nevakoti pamwe nevarairidzi kazhinji mutoro unopesera waenda kuna mai ndo vanogona kuti mbamakarwa ariwa ndo vanenge vakutarisa murwere kuchipatara kuna zviriko mwana akasaenda kuchikoro amai ndo vanenge vachiona kuti zvamirira sei saka tiri kuti tikurukure nezve matambudziko iwao etawe ne munyarikani wedu wekutanga muchirongwa chino uh, Muzare, Dimai and Dimai Mutamba Seri. Dijo, my Mutamba Seri. Dijo, so. my Chennai Mutamba Seri, Vanuanya and Zi, yes, Ufumi, we have a Chongo Row, Jamatanga Ruinika, Pamene Gurira, Kodzero Zema Zemai, Nova Tinao, Muchrongwa. A Tatitins Goku Baka Muri, uh, let me put it in English for the benefit of uh, Gibbs, who is not uh, educated in Shona. <laughs> Um, Mr. Mutamba Sere, what's your take on what is happening in Zimbabwe, looking at the political and economic situation at the moment, including uh, the current settings where uh, nurses and uh, junior doctors are on strike, teachers are on strike, and uh, opposition uh, uh, members, uh, Job Scala and others, uh, are in uh, prison or in jail. The same with the human rights activist and uh, teachers union leader, um, Obet Masaraure. What's your take on all what is happening in Zimbabwe? Zimbabwe is in a situation of being in a boiling, that we are reaching boiling point. We have been, uh, we have gone through so much for so long. And with the continued um, economic crisis, these are some of the things that we will see. You know, the strikes are a manifestation of the economic crisis as well as the political crisis, which is what we've been saying all along for the last few years, that until we get to a position of uh, political reform, the economy will always be a sacrifice 
of what is happening politically. Tichitari sa nevri miru wa amai, shirikui tika munyika. Shizwa munga taura, uye shino bata madzimai ni nzira ipi, shino siya papi madzimai. Ok. Taka tari sa shino shirikui tika munyika hiko shino. Tinoona kuti, nyika yava kushika kuya kwa tutunoti akucha zokeki, mairana nezwa ufumi. No tuka wana, vana mashuko kota ve mushpatara, manesi na madokta, vana kuti isa chakwani isi jati remera. Mariza tuku badaru, ati chakwani isi kana kutiti badara rent, ati chakwani isi kana kutitipe vana chikafu, kana chikafu chie one week chayushu, hachibudi, pamari ino piu, ino badara isi kwa dokta, kana kutipa pamari ino badara isi kwa nesi. Jakare zo, tichuona futi kuti, mu politics, matonge rwe nyika, Tuku wana kuti vari popa chikaro hiko zvino, vari kura amba vachiwe zera, kushunguru zika, kwenyika, apo papa nge wachisa vanu wa sina mosha zava para, mjere, kana wati vachiwa hende sa kukochi, chiramba zuchidaro, zunu jese hizo, zunu ita kuti Zimbabwe, irambe iri musituation ya iri, irambe iri musituation ya kutambu zika. Seja, tuku wana hizo. Kana takata resira kumazimai, mazimai, che kutanga, Muzimbabwe atisati tawa ni situation ya kuti mazimai ni nana baba vano wana shaka fana na panyeze maria wano tambira ni mabasa vano ita. Na iso zutino noti mabasa kawanda anenga chiwa iwa kanari ma administration jobs kana watari ma civil servants vanengwa jishanda murume ni kajinji kacho mabasa aya haa badari siku maria kawanda. Asi tino wana shakare kuti mabasa aya ndiwa anenga achitu kwa kajinji ni mazimai. So, situation is right, because not to not you, for me, when you go to work, for a rira. Madzimai, you don't want to get a very good idea, but you can't. Jakare, you know, the way you soon put out a pedo, could you move some cards? Mukads in dia, not hang up, or not in your cap, can a papa in the Namo Mumba, could how no, didn't get in the sea, in the gate, in the gabate, in the bata to review, put the banana on a chokujka. So, the cards in the running of a panguva, can you use a guoma, could you want to be cheat, a vanga eater, could you want a vajig? kutiwa na wengine kuchukoro, um, ni situation yangu kuti mabasa hicho, ni kuni yangu kuti hakuna, ni yangu wakada kuchengeza, vacho wa uno chengeza era kana arima nesa, arima teacher, arima doctor, iko zuno pare zuno agana au mariage, so tini kwa tisho na kuti zuno zuko rambasi ni yangu sabo rambasi chuoma, muni kwa ende mukuoma yuko koko, vano ni yangu sabo omerwa, vakaz. Mm -hmm. uh, Gibbs, I think you heard from uh, Miss Mutamba Sere. Uh, she yes. just explained that during all these uh, tough times, the person that is hard hit is uh, the mother or the woman of the house. And I think that is what is uh, happening now in the country. As uh, also, you know, that uh, most of these uh, workers, affected workers, the nurses, uh, teachers, most of these, the majority are women. Gibbs. Mm -hmm. Yes, but I think uh, there are some people, uh, especially Zanupi of supporters, who are saying all this is just uh, something that is being manufactured by of the opposition. And if you listen to the lady that we are going to slot in right now, who spoke to Ezra Chisa Spanda, you'll be surprised that maybe there are two Zimbabwean women or two uh, 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 distinct uh, people, you know, one in urban areas, the other in uh, in, in, in rural areas. So let's listen very carefully to what this lady says about her situation in sawmills. You know, it's in Mkosa district where she's a Zanupi supporter and she gets everything from the government. So Ms., uh, Mrs. Mjaba said it, listen to her very carefully. She speaks in Debele, uh, but I think you pick one or two things from, from what she's saying. Here she comes. <laughs> Utoka sasa somi nzla. Ie tina kitu sisi somi lepo. Ha, kunjala somi. Aye somi lepo raite tina. Wenu mbani bisi? Mina ngu, mina ngu violet. Oh violet, violet bani. Violet is bani. Ha, unantoa mta. Ie upila njala. Aye sisi pila kuhusu tina. Ie resetimenti nda pesa. Resetimenti, spati wa resetimenti. Kwa sambi nini? Aya skabani mbin. Wapi wanjani le ndelewe? Aya sai pia wanje kuna pamoja ma eighties na sasi tingu. Oh, utala ma eighties. Eh. Ushala rubanda? Ah, mna shala rubanda wa mna chia kubaba. Oh, nini? 
Okay, so I'm going your position in Banning Coke, you go to Loban. But in Banner opposite, I live over. A barber corners of a pain, a savang and a lavozan. Okay, you told up about Salabam Nanga, who could have been. As I really was, a libas bed. I belong bars. As I will come in Abola. I we empty any man. Okay, talk, I'm always at. Oh, Richard Moore. When's I was up my scabby? I guess I would just say, Hm, damn tanned. As I'm tanned. Okay, come with us just pure and bring us in the last field. I come as as pure and a mass in general, Papa. Uma eight is so pure, my is in form of my bad toll as you will. Eh, I buy in general, but Pima, a tap of ten is in form of a bad ten as you would end out. Yeah, yeah, Ah, right. Okay. Mm. No, I will there's a chisa with uh, this senior as open citizen. Mm -hmm. So apparently what she's saying is that uh, in so mills, they get a lot of support from ZANU-PF, unlike uh, maybe what other people are experiencing, like nurses, like doctors, and others. They've got everything from ZANU-PF. So they are pro well provided for by the government, mm -hmm. and they believe that at the end of the day, this government should be in power until donkeys have got horns. So he says, forget about the opposition, forget about some of those people who talk a lot of things that they don't even know. So she is of the opinion that um, at the end of the day, even Zanpiov is going to win the next year's elections. So whatever people are saying, says, just, 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 just forget about it. They were given cows by, you know, um, by the government. Now they are hating their own cattle and all those kind of things. So at the end of the day, 
these are issues that are coming out. You know, as she says, she's a woman, she's widowed, but at the end of the day, she's well catered for Chong. Mm -hmm. I want to note that Kuru gives to a Kwansango Chitipa, a video, Tichins, Gaz, Ruitika, Kune, Manga Matun. Do not know the so means the Rukupi gives. It is in Matabel North, in the Pupi area near, near the border with the Cholosho, I guess. Okay. So it's, it's, it's a very used place. It used to have a lot of uh, timber and maybe it has been over exploited and there's so nothing now. That's where it derived the name from, from the timber, so mules. <laughs> yes, I think so. So, okay. uh, you know, this is an area where we used to have a lot of timbering, you know, mm -hmm. lumbering, sorry. So at the end of the day, people were sort of like self-sufficient. And okay. But now I believe that uh, the government then recycled some people, gave them a, a certain head of cattle to start with, and they're going somewhere now with it. So compared to people that are in neighbor areas, some are now uh, toy toying, demanding salaries and all these kind of things in US dollars. You know, it becomes something like you've got two Zimbabwe situations here. Mm -hmm. One where people are demanding dollars and stuff like that in US dollars. And then we've got a uh, uh, people the name, who are the Sere, mm -hmm. and others who are saying, no, 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 no. The country is in doldrums here. There's a problem. <laughs> So maybe she can address that too. What do you think? Okay, yeah, you can go ahead, Ms. Mutamba said. Okay, so um you touch on and don't tell her need to cannot need you wrong. No, I think you say English as I say it gives a lot of school fees you're shown. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Um so I think you touch on a lot of um very important points there. And the first one I'll start with is that mm. one you mentioned in passing of self-sufficiency. So we have a situation whereby the current government, for all intents and purposes, is very good at taking away and crippling the economy. Once the economy is crippled, they rely on the people's hunger to go and spoon feed them. So for a little while, the, 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 that woman who was on the video might be saying, today we were given cows then next week they might be given rice. Then next week they might get cooking oil. But that is not a functioning. Those are not the presets of a functioning economy. Such an economy creates a dependency syndrome. It, it takes away the independence and the empowerment of the people to generate their own wealth. And that is the sort of wealth that you are then able to pass on even to generations, you know, we can't have, if my great grandmother has to go and rely on, on being spoon fed by the government when they feel like it, and then I do the same and my children do the same, we have killed the economy. That, that is not an economy. That is a dependency syndrome. So they starve you, and after you have starved, they rely on your hunger to come to them with a begging bowl, and you get some cows or you get some uh millimil or whatever it is every now and again that is inadequate what also happens you mentioned that they were dis they were given some cattle at some point currently do you know that zimbabwe can no longer produce its own milk for us to get a milk production we have to import certain things and we can no longer afford them this is why the price of milk in zimbabwe is so expensive i have seen people on social media talking about cremora and comparing the South Africa Cremora and the Zimbabwe Cremora, we should not even be using Cremora as part of a, a daily healthy diet. These are things, supplements that we're starting to use because our economy is so crippled that we cannot produce milk. Mm. So, and then when you then come to the idea of, do we have two different Zimbabweans? Do we have a Zimbabwe that is poor and a Zimbabwe that is um, doing well? I don't believe that to be the case. But what we might have is a Zimbabwe that is awakened and conscientized as to why we are finding our situations in the way that we are. And another Zimbabwe that is perhaps being woodwinked through government uh, propaganda and other such activities so that they're made to believe that things might be okay or it's the opposition that is causing all these things. It's a matter of, uh, of understanding. It's a matter of knowledge and conscientization. I don't think... I still believe that even that woman 
that if they ever require uh, medical interventions, they will still struggle the same way that someone in the opposition is struggling. Because when it comes to things like access to health care, you know, it affects us all the same. It doesn't matter that you are being given, you are stealing COVID funds and you are a teacher. At the end of the day, if the economy or the country is in health crisis, it's bound to affect each and every one of us. So I don't really think that Zimbabwe no longer has the luxury of the haves and the have-nots, you know. I have highlighted in previous discussions, even when you look at the, the health in terms of, um, we are having a lot of um, statistics of cancers, for example, in young people, those that are below the age of 50. And those are some of the indicators of what is going wrong in the economy, you know. We should never settle for the fact that a lot of people under the age of 50 are suffering from cancers. This is actually an example of what can go wrong when we do not have good and um, substantial public health um, policies. So I would only dispute the fact that there are two Zimbabweans. Anyone who thinks that there is a Zimbabwe, that is, a, a, we still have haves and have nots, is under false pretense. There's no such thing. Zimbabwe, we are all poor. As long as you're a Zimbabwean, even if you have a million dollars under your bed, you are still affected by the poverty that is being inflicted on the people of Zimbabwe by this current um, government. You might mm -hmm. not be aware, but it doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. Thank you very much. And stay on the line. We've got uh, now uh, Mrs. Papura Kwangwara and Ms. Tafaswa Matinenga. So let's start with you, uh, uh, Papra Kwangwara. Welcome to the program. Saamgela Kwangwara. Papra Kwangwara, how are you? I think she cannot hear me. I, cannot hear you, I think. And, uh, maybe try try from that end. Uh, yes, Magadi uh, Amai Kwangwara. I don't think she is uh, able to. Yeah, I think it. maybe she is using these wireless headphones. Headphones. They always cut off audio, so maybe okay. she can take them off, and then. Uh, I'm trying can, to give yeah. a sign. Yeah. Okay. I'll write to her and tell her to take okay. them off. Okay. Uh, Yes, I think she had uh, put, uh, yeah, go ahead, Martinenga. Yes. Uh, Martinenga, how are you? No, hear you. How are things? I well, things are good over here. Yeah, okay, okay good. Thank you so much. Tirukurukura, Nenya, Shirwitka, Zimbabwe, which is no better say, Mazimai, how it affects women. And uh, as we were discussing uh, before, uh, most of uh, the political violence, uh, the strikes, the economic hardships, they end up affecting women. What's your take on what is happening in the country at the moment? Shikuru icho kwa liku tishrubitika munika shugu shunyikuru za matzimai kunyanya. Ukatari sase ndichi toro kumazu ya ye muna ye wanga wa shitawra bifumi. Ukatari sa strikes ya itika i. Urugo niko kutima hospitals right now apasi sina ma doctors kana ma nurses arku kwanza kubatira matzimai. Saka if you think of my issues re kuti um, maternity, matzimai ra kubatira. This is a very critical situation. Urugo told aku tujoniti we have to have our doctors. So nyaya ya strike ima ziyema doctors inofana kuto inofana ku prioritize wa. Urumende changa tu chukumbira kutujoniti. I wone this plight ya madzimai. Kutivana ni madzimai. Wakwanse kuwa ni wa so that they get the medic aid and support that they need. Especially during childbirth. This is a very critical issue and it's something that is very concerning Monuese. Not only that, trukona kuti madzimai. Mari aisku wanika. Saka semo madzimai unungo shiwa uchungo unungo shida kuku kutivana wajige kutiwa na waende kuchukoro, but maria chona yuruku nzi ndiyo yose mshakanzi ma doctors and ashkanzi arkupi wa 100%, but zero out of zero is equal to zero. Saka you can imagine kutika na doctor chae chai arkupi wa 100% increase. What more if you're looking at uh, muzimai pamla arungo rimo upamba asina shakawanda. 
saka tanga ti duzo shinu shachina shachino tisoniti nika ya parar nika ya parar ano kuti madzimai atisha kwanza kuriri tira miri um, our families atisha kwanza kuvini mama ma basic commodities chaya chaya like healthcare access to water right now we have we are in a living in a, and climate change where climate change is is affecting um all aspects of our lives so you know kana kwasina mvura kana kwasina vanhu vasinga kwanisa kuvhini kukuwana mari ye fertilizer kana kuti mari ye cement mura kuti mudzimai adye chi asi tinonzi kuti muri kutsano kutsana ngura kudai paitwa izvi paitwa izvi paitwa izvi tinonzi kwa hurumende iri kuita zvakawanda kwazvo zvairi kuti iri kuita ichibatsira vanhu zvikuru madzimai amusta urere kuti zvairi kuita ndezve Chanzi wama ya wangawa shitaura pa video ya taba kuple ya ndifunga andizweka na maa mati mawepo wangawa shitaura kutiruku batiru wa tinopio wa mombe ze kutiti tangina zo urungwa weku chengeta mombe kuna reserva waka pio wa munda kuma prazi kwa wari kunonzi kusomi us e, wano pio wa mbeu neje kuri misa neje se jishi mweza munga ti dae jawe zero wane urumen Taka mazi maima ngani wa ya uruku piwa because kana ushitaura nika yese ka uruku tarsa nika yese Sika kana wangori a group of people yokuti wariku allocate a certain individuals atus akus ku 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 batra madzmai and tukula kuti madzmai wese white way empowered saka even kana uchi gara ku maru wakana uchi gara ku town unofana uchi kwanisa uchi riritira mori yako asika na uruku tarisa kuti jimbo ya kati kana uchi pa program ya kati yango benefit certain individuals Akus ku benefit a madzimai e e e e rujinji e nik madzimai akawanda em Zimbabwe aku complaina kuta dus ku kwani sa tuku taza wurumende de ya chinja ya ita jinu jno batika kuti madzimai wese paninge cha ita nivin kanaka isa ita mombe akashaya ika akashaya mombe pa program cha ninga decide out to charge kuita icho church dosh no kwanza kumuri retir. Thank you so much. Uh, we are still trying to bring in. Uh, Zanu PF uh, members, uh, so that they participate in this uh, discussion. And uh, Gibbs, go ahead. We can't hear you, Gibbs. All right, we are still trying to get uh, Papra Kongwara. Okay. Uh, I think she will join us shortly. But um, before she joins yes, us, um, maybe let me go back to Tafaswa. It seems as if Tafaswa, like, the question that I posed, even to Chennai, Muntamba Sere was, you know, there are some people in rural areas who don't believe in all these things that you are saying. So, like, they are saying, you know what, Zanupiev is doing everything for us. Bana Martinenga and others, you are just saying your own things. So, how do you respond to such a situation, Martinenga? Martinenga. Not can muchita pick pocket certain areas and then you think it is it resembles the whole entire community. I'm skutaura chokwad. No good muka tau makatari sanadzma even kana guru mende ya kayenda pa jimbo yi chiti irukupa wa nu mombe. Irukupa wa nu mombe we se yere warumu jimbe mumu waruaku batsirwa. Kana uti waka nonga wa shoma. Saka izo zoka na chitarza te chitari sa matambu zuke ema zimai. Even with the May and Okwanisa Kwenda Kuru Chipatara Nas, can Akwanza Kwenda Chipatara Nas, as you look with the May Wese, I need that access. Do so, she knows that Zuguti Shunguru Zanukuti will remain the Urkutaza Kubata, Kubatra Mazmai, Esse, Ukuti Awa Guakwanisa Kuita Jawanuita. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Can you say this in English? Now, you, you know, there's this kind of, uh, you know, difference between maybe happen and and rural women to a certain extent, mm. right? So because yeah. there's some who are saying, you know, we benefit a lot from Zanu PF, but these other guys uh, in, in urban areas are saying their own things. And those even overseas, how do you respond to that? Absolutely. So I think like when you look at someone even in the in the um in the urban area who is unable to um have to 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 to, to be empowered or to find a job. You know, you go into the role either whether you, you so you finished your 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 education, but there's no job. And you try by other means to be self-sufficient. 
but you're in a position where you're waiting, you know, you don't even have access to these resources which the government is saying. So we are saying that the government, that the economy needs to be in a state where it is stable enough so that whatever decision, whatever choice you make, that this is the way I want to be able to, um, that, is the, that, that is the way that can be able to bring income in my family. It should be a way that is able to, to give you income and to do the things that you need. But unfortunately, we have, we only have, the government is only, only focuses on, on individuals or certain communities and not empowering the entire community so that they can be able to do what they're supposed to be doing so that we can have an empowered woman. And most of the women, and we have like issues of healthcare, that's a development issue. Issues of water access, that's a development issue. Even even political, even violence in itself, where women don't even feel safe. There's a huge rampage of, um, of um, violent robberies all over in the rural areas and in the city. That's, that's an economic um, cry from citizens who have this, we are now going to all these means instead of um, looking for jobs where they can be able to sustain their families. Thank you very much. Uh, now let's talk to Papra Kongwara. I think maybe she can hear me now. I don't know whether Papra can hear me. Papra, can you hear me? Hello, Papra. We are in You can have any problem like on a panel. What I think yeah, yeah, you can uh, you can bring your own on the phone, then uh, she can uh, contribute through that. Yeah, okay. So let me just bring it right now. Yes, uh, I can see she's trying to get in touch with us as well. Uh, yes. Okay, let me. And uh, we are also trying to bring in Mrs. Tentatenda oh, as well, uh, who yes. we are going to connect very shortly. So mm -hmm. here, Papa, here she comes. Uh, maybe you can hear from this end. So, uh, sorry, Papa, I think we, we have a, a very bad connection there. So, how are you doing? Yeah, I, you are okay. Yes, we are Sizo. Yes, when I was on Nina's Begula, I was on Nina's Begula. Yeah, I was on Nina's Begula. So, I was telling you, 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 I was telling so okay uh into in Zayala, you lay Eva Manesi Laboto, what they are our strike lay. Uh, Mina, Mina, I think ni I support a Kulu. Uguti, Avantu Lava Seve Kalega Kulu. Ukulu Mende, Uvele, Jeng said, Uguva Lenda, Lava, Mongiaz, Laboto, what they are. I holo, Lava Valley Hola, Lia Nisa, uh, Gibbs. Yes, we would see Nanguas, we would see Ukulumende long, Ukulumende on Jani, on a Nagagagi, the seven Zaki. I see what water lava or the water, what the Lamta Scuma, what to get a lava monkey as a Nitan Canyela, Ama demands Abu, I is into Abazi Funa, your gibbs, but about Funa Ipolo, Ellingang eight hundred and forty US dollars. Yes, the gas is so good from Ukulu. Ingani Kanye, the Nalapin corner, Lapin Gland, Imali, and Yitola, near Vigi, ni one week salary, and Abai Funa, Nyang, and the Nang Kanye, the Mina. Ama demands are they are just. Ama demands are so ah, my demands are Uslanya. Ama demands are Umundu Okalela, a poverty that am a linked. Wages or Cambellana, a la loco in Zarana, Umumo, Um Conon, a Uhulmende, Ulocta Abani, a local Abacalela, Sibona, a Fagama Polisa, a Ut Abachai, Oguindo, a Zisubu, Oguindo, a young Isaiah Kulum, Ama photos la. A hamba, a Tolacala, young and thou, as good as you are, they go viral. Mm -hmm. 
Agula, Uhutu, Uhulmen was a pig, is a city, Nugut Atting Amanga, a Abandon demonstrator gives Lilungelo Labo, Elicona, a Segelo and Sombuso, a Balelungelo, Logu demonstrator, Balelungelo, Logu striker, a Balelungelo, Logu Cheng Sela, Utibona Rabatavanga, a Gugu employer Wabo, on who employer of own Hulumend, a Sibona Uhulumend, or Sepele, and Wakibs, on as Utkona in Dabas as the Sevens, Zivanjo and Jani. See, a Bugas of Tavia Salo Pans, he keeps Agulan de Pumayo, got to a Sibona Uhulumend, or Funa Uguniga is Sevens, a it bond, Gumbeiti Aratijes, Le, what a bona, the cola, Ama US dollar, is it was a bozonke by ends, Ama US dollars, Sibona Uhulumende, o o o o on eco fee, Uhulumende, or selfish. On a land double, or whatever to appeal and Jan keeps, says we are even to me, Abbas Abba Abbezan, Lava Abba Sabotas, Awezan, at one of a taller young king to Uzan. Ah, Pima Vinki, Ligumbis Dolo Zipi, Abatenga Gizo, S. Chene, Lavanya Bantu Wonki. Each girl has ten and daony, Yempop, ten and daony, Amafut and daony, Angas and Bonnie Minis Dolo Zezano is towards New Avantu Mahara from Clara one, who figures from Clara thirty one. Oh, who is in the Gonogaba Nikwayo, a glass of Siaguma elections, where Niwa Amankomichang, two away Raisi, where Niwa in Canelo, where Niwe Lok is in Dabamel with Nabas, Tengelabona, Nemalizabo, Nabinga Lima, but Tengise, Eva Niwe, Imali, a Tengai. I saw life, lo, I saw Pilo, Leo, who took on Ukulu Mende, we are called Savantu, a Uhusa. He signed Yoga Sulega Leo Gibbs, Angas and Bonnie Lizwe, Eli Zikaja, Wogunika, Avantu, Valo, Isinqua, 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 Trusty Banibu. Angas and Wubon, you look at it. We are as good, we are as the Subutlu, and the Lavanda defend his son, Piafinia Ting and Solo to civil act under Lapa, who write now, but defend and not Lava, they are part of the oppressive system. By a Salesan, got Avan who told with his covers away, Zia Kaula Conali, Zimbabwe. Yeah, got a work on a Vanyabati, but Tola Incomo, a Batola in Tanyelo, but Tola Lugunia Lugul, the foot. Iko bakfuna, yuka kulu koko, es kulumela we so mills. Mucha anelu kuluma vele, yas kulumela. Uwampen lusitit. Iko ngazi, gives yas to uko ngazi gufana lo gufa, yas uti unga, unga tuvega ka kulu. Utrinu wone ngazani, umunta ngagu nigo gu ingo sana, uya tigu ngono. Mina ame veteran trade unionist to gives, I'm talking from a point of, ilo kuse informed point of view. Nya wazi zindolezi nya zazi. Yes, I was a colleague, Papa Equagora. What we could not put my mom, So, uh, as we had, uh, you know, Choga. She's really yes. saying, you know, the life that some people are leading right now, and those Zanu PF activists that are saying they're getting everything from Zanu PF. She's saying that's the worst way of getting, you know, things. Like you get food today, you get some free piece tomorrow. That's not the way of life. But people should be capacitated to actually have this kind of thing to say, they can buy something for their um, for their families instead of being entirely dependent on government. So she's mm -hmm. condemning what uh, some of these ZANU-PF activists are saying, especially Ukoko, who are saying, you know what, I'm getting everything, you know, from the government. So maybe we've got a tender Matsiro. I think she's traveling, uh, but maybe she's parking a car for a moment. So okay, took, uh, for a moment, there she is.
I can, I can see a smile. See that, uh, the lighting is a bit poor. People will be asking, which tender is this? The one we know? Because they can <laughs> make up with your face. But uh, welcome to our show, Mr. Mazzero. Uh, can I? I can't yeah, hear you. Just hold on, Kongwara. Kongwara, hold on. Let's try to talk to Tendai Mazzero. Yes, Tendai, yeah. can you hear us? She can hear us, but her mic I is sort of like muted. Uh, can you cut and come back, Tatenda? I think right, she can maybe she, check check your mic. Is no, your it... mi microphone is okay. I think uh, she has got some connectivity issue there. So can okay. you cut out and come back, Tatenda? In the meantime, let's have Chennai. Quiet with Chennai, uh, 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 Chonga. Okay, uh, Mr. Mutamba Sere, while we wait for Miss Mazzero to uh, reconnect, uh, what's your take on what uh, Miss Gwangwara just said and uh, the other speakers? Yeah, can, can you adjust your camera a little bit so that you cut the... the can you see me now? Y yes, we can see you yes. clearly, yes. Yeah. Quiet, Sorry, yeah. I was slouching in my chair. No, so, okay. um, I mean, I, I can only but agree with everything that, uh, that Barbara was saying the, that, you know, we need to focus on capacitating the, the country, capacitating the economy and not to have a few people that rely on government handouts to survive. Um, I come back to my point, which I said that, you know, the, the thing with um, the poverty, you know, you might have a ZANU PF handout, but you still are going to drive on the same bad roads. You might get a handout, but you're still affected by the fact that we have a very poor water supply or electricity supply, it still matters to you when you try to connect and you can't get through on your Wi-Fi or whatever, you know. So everything affects you. It's, you're still affected if there's no more, if all the doctors, at the moment we have a high brain drain, you know, the, those doctors that we are seeing that are on strike and the nurses that are on strike, those are our heroes because a lot of other doctors and nurses, they have left the country. There's a high demand worldwide on their profession on doctors and nurses and um it won't matter that you are a zanu pf um, beneficiary when you need a doctor you need a doctor when you need a hospital access you need a hospital access when you need access to medicine you just need access to medicine and we know that those things they affect every one of us the same so regardless of you know you we can come here in fact i would have liked to have had a conversation with that lady in in in, in sawmill to say to you, okay, so right now, how old are you? What are you currently doing right at the moment in life? How are you gaining your your income? Because really, maybe she should be a pensioner. She should be retired and be enjoying the fruits of her labor. But in Zimbabwe, we have the setup where even our pensioners to their grave, they'll still be looking, especially female pensioners. Not only are they trying to make money, they are also being burdened with looking after their children and grandchildren because we have an economy that is not in, in empowering its citizens in the way of becoming in, economically independent. Thank you know, you. we do not have our individual freedoms in that regard. Thank you so much, Mr. Mtamba Senator. Welcome to our show. Oh, what's going on? Ma, Ms. Mtamba said, can you hear Ms. Mazzero? No. You can't hear. We don't know what is going on. Ma'am, boy, some headphones here. Maybe if you have headphones, maybe you can try using headphones. Yes. Hello? Yeah. Can you hear me yes, now? now we can hear you. Thank you. Okay, probably it was the headphones. Okay, yeah, and don't you my headphones. Thank you so and much for coming right. in. Now we are joined by Mr. Uh, Tatenda Mazero uh, from uh, Women's Academy for Leadership and Political Excellence. You heard what uh, these other women were saying, and uh, it's like uh, almost everyone is uh, pointing uh, a finger at the failure by the government to uh, make things work. What's your take here? I also agree that it's it's a failure of the government because I think nurses as duty bearers they also have um, they also have to be paid by the government. 
because it's just an issue of them being paid. Aside from be, being paid, they're actually committed to do the work that they say they're going to do. So I totally agree that the government is to blame for this because all they want, it, it, it's just simple. A, a normal wage that will also allow them to take care of their families while they are also taking care of patients in hospitals. So yes, I totally agree to that. It's just a simple gesture for them to also pay the people that are offering a service. And it, it's been long whilst they were giving this service without be, being given a normal remuneration. And also considering that their price hikes at the moment, they, they should also be considered because they also have families to take care of and also themselves to be also take to take care of, of themselves because the work that they do is also traumatizing enough and also has a lot of mental issues involved. They also have to take care of them, them, them themselves outside the workspace and that needs money. And when the government does not pay them, it becomes problematic because what do they want them to do? They work night shifts and they don't even have at least ample time, even if they were forced to do extra work, uh, like side hustles or, or something that, or, of that sort, they don't even have time to, to do that. Because if I work night shift, it means during the day I must sleep because I need to rest. So where do they get extra money to, to pamper themselves? It means the government has to, to, to pay them because they're doing enough for it. So I totally agree with the speakers that said before me that the government is paying. Uh, Mind, not to show what the government to know he blame a canoe to know if a mosa a book is a nezu quit from a demonstrations are quit because you could be one ne nana outana ne manis a do zibi kibarkum goda kubadarwa kubasaravar kushanda because I listen for the basa chate they also have families to take care of saga is is not equal with the government yet doing it bad manesaya says abano fano nge wa chiwana kutuwa kukwansa kuchengi tao mwuri zaavu ne kutipa msoro pe basa bano fano rozo wakare kuzuchengi te zafungwa zaavu ne kutipa sarabo fungai za bano sangana nazo za tunenge tata za isu kuchengi ta kumba tunova yende sera ndidi barwere wa tunenge tatu aa hawa zwa aguda chipatara endi bano sangana nevanu ibabu ba sangana nevanu ibabu bano ndo hawa uye kupasa maharaka bano patara oma transport ne kutipa nge wa chende kwa kwa kupasa zakare bano tika bano da lunch Saka zreve chinu, kana nesa chenda kubasa, osha ndira marie bazi, ni marie kuta ajike lanchi, kwa muri ya, ya sara kumba, kwa zaari, haache mbira hari kwa basa ka, ano doo pla kepe kukara, ano doo mote kufambo, kune kufamba kwe mguba, ano zutenga sehi, kana marie achoi singa kwani, saa tunote, kutusurbendi gaeze, nepa ino kona, kutinge chipaba na marino kwana, kutuzi upenyu wavu, unge uro upenyu, evanu marukendo kubasa. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you very much. And hold on there. So let's bring in uh, Tafas from Matimnenga. Then we go to Papra Kongwara. Uh, just briefly, your last word, uh, uh, Miss uh, Matinenga. Your last word. Thank you. I think what is important is uh, that uh, people, that the government knows that it is supposed to be empowering an entire community. community. And uh, it develops the country what is at stake and what it has failed to do is to develop the country and what it is focused on is focused on if specific on, on small individuals instead of focusing on the healthcare it is focusing on its on 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 a, on, a, on on the board of directors instead of focusing on an entire community for development where the roads the roads get developed where people have access to water it is talking about do your problem, this is a corrupt system. The entire the, the country needs to be developed. Where one Munukazi, Munuesa Give someone a fishing rod instead of, of giving her or him fish. Mm -hmm. The government is giving people fishing rods mm -hmm. to fish for themselves. If they want to keep the fish that they catch and do projects with the fish, like uh, fisheries and all that, it's up to them. Instead of the government bring them dead fish just to have a meal, one meal, and then that's that. But do patrugutarabut irukupawa nani. No, the whole community should benefit. 
but one work with artists could benefit and no good work up on specific individuals. Can I teach it our development more community? Community, yes, you know, for develop. No, so I'll choose on out even a toy and a mom beggar, Maroda, and a good zero. One hour is when I would call Vura Pana is because I wanna hang a community, yes, one worry interested in one, two, three, four instead of the entire community. They were Chikuru Zira, good Zodji Munuese. A poor shandugo. You could enough, enough bata munuesa, remomo musha momo, tinga dites to go to Rapanye, as no good in one name Zimbabwe, one Kunyanya Mazimai, Washu Gutambura, Nanasi, Mawanuta the Winda Muchipata, as well good or a good in the Kapa Mombe, Ningina Ningi. Thank you very much, uh, Chennai. Let's bring in uh, Papra Kongwara. Uh, so, so Papra, in, in, your, in your conclusion here yeah, about what is going on in Zimbabwe. Do you think there is a very easy solution to what is happening? Like, uh, you know, what can what can be done? Uh, okay, uh, thank you so much. I think uh, what what needs to be done, uh, Gibbs, is that. Mm -hmm. uh, can you hear me? Yes, yes, yes. Very clear. Yes, uh, you know the the Zanu PF government needs to 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 um, to do uh, electoral reforms. The reforms. All the reforms that are pending, they have to be uh, uh, implemented so that we have a free and fair election that is going to usher a new government. Because what uh, we know uh, very well, vividly, is that uh, ZANU PF uh, uh, has never won an election. ZANU PF is known uh, uh, with their shenanigans. But they will tell you that they, they are always winning. They are always winning, according uh, to them. Yeah. Because they are in power, Gibbs, you can't do uh, you can't do anything. Everything is captured. The courts are captured. The ZEC is captured. It's not independent. As long as we are not having a, a, a Zimbabwe Electoral Commission, a commission that is independent, then you know it's, it's, it will be a very very difficult for 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 ZANU PF to 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 relinquish power, even if they 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 lose election. We know. Everyone knows. Zanu PF has always been losing elections. They are, they are taking advantage of the, the power that they have. That's why you see if, if people complain, they are beaten. Why do you beat people that are complaining? Why do you, why do you beat people that have gathered to, 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 to demand uh, uh, what they are supposed to maybe, do? Maybe, maybe that's the reason why Koko in so is saying, you know, Zanu PF will be there for, for good forever, you know. So you're just wasting your time, according to you. It's, a, it's, a, it's unfortunate. If you find uh, that Gogo, eh, uh, you'll find Kuti, the 95% of what she's eating, is she's being uh, fed by the sun or the, 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 the Muzugulu who is in South Africa. And then look at the, 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 the conditions that these people are, are living in. You know, this Gogo uh, gives, she's bragging. It's unfortunate. I feel sorry for her. She might be bragging, but this is not the Zimbabwe that we want. If the elderly are to be looked after by the government, it has to be every elderly. Zanupia should not discriminate you know everyone who, is, who deserves to be uh, to be looked after by social welfare should be able to be looked after the disabled uh, the unemployed uh, the elderly you know you name them like we see like here in the uk you know everyone who deserves to be looked after by the government is being looked after by the government without any discrimination they don't even look where you come from they don't even look at the, your skin color everyone is treated equal this is the kind of the government that we we we, we are we are yearning for we are yearning for a, a egalitarian society where everyone will be equal on that, on that note, uh, yes, uh, yes. Uh, on that note, uh, Papa, we wish to end our show today. Uh, we thank our guest uh, this evening, uh, Miss, uh, Mrs. Papa Kongwara. She's a veteran, a veteran trade unionist and CCC supporter or member. Then we've got Tafaso Martinenga, a political analyst based in USA. We also had uh, Chennai Mutamba Sere, who is an independent economic and political analyst. We also want to say thank you to Tatenda Matsiro of the Women's Academy for Leadership and Political Excellence. And thank you all uh, those that were following us tonight on Studio 7 Live Talk. 
Signing off is Kip Stube in Washington, D.C. saying good night, Zimbabwe. And I'm Jonga Kandemiri. Good night. Good night.